Oh, Elliot's the one that does it. Yes! Bye bye! Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, last time we were going against these uh, weird moth creatures that are giving me quite a hard time. The goal for this video is definitely to take them out. So that's definitely what we're gonna do. We're gonna take them out the picture and we're going to get out of this dungeon today. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I don't have any earth for him. We'll go for the middle one this time. And we'll just concentrate all of our efforts. Uh, right. Get it. I remember to take Laura out the picture because she was getting tore up by these being so fast. It was ridiculous. Your turn. I'll handle this. At least with uh, her, with Alyssa, they la lasted a little longer. Are they susceptible to this? Uh, I don't think they are to sleep. I'm gonna have to check again. Keep it up, everyone. I can do this. No, they are susceptible to sleep. Hmm, maybe I'm maybe it's just a big chance that they're not. Maybe. Leave it to me. Oh, come on. Oh, you guys suck. I'm going to switch her out for a split second because I want. Well, Laura can because. Dang it! CP. Uh, uses CP, so I want him to keep using his slash, but it doesn't look like I have anything for CP right now. Nope. But I bet that will help a little bit. Yep, sure enough it did. 
Ow. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Ow. God dang, he got confused again. Yep, confused again. Uh, uh, dang it. Oh, she didn't. Okay. You still live. Just make keep making this stronger. Huh? All right. There we go. Get those criticals. First time using it, I think. I think the only difference is between when I do it and when it's a move is it gets easier to unbalance them. I can do this. She might need a one of these because they're about to go ham on us again. Yeah, they're trying to confuse him again. Yep, you missed again. I really want to take you out. Come on. Oh, come on. You just need one more hit. Yes. Set. <gasps> Have I taken out all three? Have I done it? Please tell me I've done it. Ah, oh, no, they're two still there. It's I thought maybe turn. they were illusions. I was about to be so happy. So that's one down, two more to go. Let's just do blessed. Hang in there. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, this one's got more. Yeah, you missed. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Come on. We took out one pretty quickly. Leave it to me. Oh, now they're using the cry, so you missed, though. Hang in there. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Give it up, everyone. Here we go. Yeah, bring it all the way over here. Let's go. There. Balance them, balance them, balance. Come on. Ah, uh, I didn't do it. Oh, but I did poison it. So, getting there slowly but surely. Nope. Oh, you still missed. Green is on it today. He said, we, we ain't dying again. He said, it ain't happening. Go. There. 
Come on. Ah, I've got them all this time. You don't confuse. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Right. Yeah. Keep it up, everyone. I can do this. He really needs it. Oh, he needs another boost before he can use his slash again. Why do you keep going over there? I want to do this one. Come on. He needs two more big hits. Don't, oh, it killed him. I'm going to use this because... I would hate for more than two people to get down. <laughs> Thanks. Hang in there. Thanks. Yes, he can use S rank again. I keep saying S rank, S break, S break. He uses S break again. You keep doing this, why? Oh, what is it? Come on. Yes. All right, I got one more. We can do this, guys. Let's pull it again with the power of friendship and Combat links. Of confused each other. Oh, dang it. How do you resist? It's my turn. Ow, that hurt right. a lot. Oh, dang, yeah. Oh, Elliot needs it more. He needs it mo more than anyone. Oh, snap. I swear, if we die at this point in the battle, I'm going to be so upset. What happens if I use Golden Spear on you? I've yet to do this. Oh, would this be it? We should take him out. Ah, close but no Not dice. Just... Oh, Elliot's the one that does it. Yes! Bye bye! Ah. Is everybody okay? Yes. I'm okay now, Elliot. That we finally got rid of all those moth monsters. Oh, I'm so happy. Now, this moth battle wasn't as hard as the baboon one, which took forever, but it's just as satisfying when you finally beat 
that boss after so many tries. Yeah, and uh, Laura was getting creamed the first couple times. I was like, oh god, I need to take her out. She is doing nothing. I did it. Ooh, everyone leveled up. Does Laura get the level up too, or no? <laughs> I did it. <sighs> That's one sure. That one sure put up a fight. Indeed, I suspect it considered this entire floor to be its domain. Still, it was nothing we couldn't handle. Perhaps that means the floor is ours now. <laughs> yeah, we seem to have finally gotten the hang of combat looks and everything, but it doesn't look like there's anything left to find here. The path does appear to dead end with this room. There don't even seem to be any valuables in here for that thing to have been guarding. Yeah. He's like, strange. He's kind of wondering, he's like, why are these monsters in this room like they're guarding something, but there's nothing here? Hmm? What's wrong? You look like you're lost in thought. Did you sense something? No, I was just thinking about the last month. This is exactly the same as what happened then. A new area opens up, we reach the end of it, we fight a powerful enemy, and then hit a dead end. The situation is identical. And then how do you mention it? Hmm, that is suspicious. Everything has to reach its end somewhere. It's probably nothing more than a coincidence. You might be right. It just strikes me as odd, that's all. Either way, we explored all we can for now. So come on, let's head back outside. The expression party's bonds have been strengthened. Is everyone level 2 now? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna show me. Yeah, they said nothing was in this room. It doesn't look like there is either. Yep, the teleport. Still up now. I feel like this is more of a test than that they're guarding something. Or they could be guarding something and they're just spread out into different floors. Like only the chosen one that can defeat us all may enter. Something off those lines. Going back up to the first floor. Turn to the surface. And investigation, yeah, nothing else for us to do. Phew, that was way more exhausting than I expected. Yeah, the monsters down there were a lot stronger than the ones we fought last month. That elevator is the biggest conundrum, though. Where could it possibly have come from? We should report our findings to the principal right away. And short to Sarah too. Yes, that seems yes, that seems like the wisest course of action. Is the kitty there again? Kitty So you are watching us. What for? And you have thoughts that we can read. <laughs> Aw, it's so cute. So this month, there's suddenly an elevator allowing access to a floor even deeper below the surface? Honestly, how many more surprises does that old schoolhouse hold? There, there was nothing like that during my inspection last week, I can say that much. Why can't I be the one who finds all the cool stuff? There seem to be a number of floors even deeper underground too. But only the first two were accessible. Yeah, that's not a mystery. I tried to find some means of unlocking the elevator so we could access the other floors, but it wouldn't budge. It, it's not not the end of it. I wonder how far it goes. In the decades I've been here at this academy, this is the first I've heard of additional floors whatsoever. 
Up until last month, the floor we use for your return exercise is all we'd ever known. So we'd explore today didn't even exist until this week. And easy access to this new area presented itself in the form of a convenient elevator, no less. I've heard that many of the ruins from the Dark Ages were fraught with mysteries, but this is almost inconceivable. Well, something must have caused the new areas to show themselves, but I don't have the slightest idea what that something could be. You wouldn't happen to have any ideas, would you, sir? Hmm, let me think. Perhaps it may have something to do with Emperor Dreckles. Dreckles? The Lionheart? The very same. Emperor Dreckles, I hope I'm not butchering this man's name, left strict orders regarding that building, which have been passed down from principal to principal ever since. He proclaimed that the old schoolhouse was to be preserved as it is until the promised day arrives. The promised day? What does that mean? Until the prophecy is fulfilled, no one must ever enter this schoolhouse. That's pretty much what that means. That I couldn't say. Though we have speculated it ties back to the War of the Lions 250 years ago and to Druckle's companion, the brave Sandalot. Sir, Lion Sandalot? The Lace Maiden. If Emperor Druckle's words did concern the War of the Lions, it does stand to reason that she'd be connected. She and her Essen Richard fought valiantly at his side throughout the conflict, valiantly enough to be regarded as a saint by the Septon Church. I imagine few in Eberon don't have at least know the name. Her name is celebrated even in my hometown, and I'm about as far out in the Emperor as you can get. There is no shortage of legends and mysteries surrounding her life, and her death for that matter. But how in the world would she be connected to the old schoolhouse? Well, I am not certain she is, but when I think of the alterations that have begun to occur inside the building, and of Druckle's words, I find it difficult to believe that there's no connection. It just strikes me as more than mere coincidence. I guess that's as good as theory as any. But what does the promised day refer to? The apocalypse! <laughs> Well, with so little information, we could speculate all night. I doubt we'd be any closer to the uh, legitimate answer. We'll just have to keep searching the ruins and see what we find. You've performed admirably, Class 7. I truly appreciate all your efforts, and I'm terribly sorry for keeping you here so long. No, not at all. I'm as happy we could be of help. If we discover anything else, we'll let you know at once, sir. Excellent. Feel free to prioritize, prioritize other tasks as you see fit. However, you're not my personal assistant, after all. Alright, well that's done. Thanks for your help, everyone. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Honestly, I want to solve the mysteries of that place as much as you two at this point. I feel the same, as finding the monsters within serves an excellent training. I would be more than happy to accompany you again, should the opportunity arise. <laughs> It's not right for you to have do it all the hard work. Read. I cannot read for some reason. Oh my god, for some reason that was so hard to read. That goes for all the other requests you do on your free days too. My help's just a call away if you ever need it. Thanks, I'm sure I'll take you up on that. I'll see you back at the dormitory. Take care. Completed. Received heal as reward. Yes. We definitely needed it. Received one additional bonding point. Ooh. Who are we going to bond with today? Ooh. Hell yeah. We're going after Usus. Yes, 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 yes. Usus, my boy. My main man. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, no, I'm not talking to him. He'll talk to me for hours. Are you up here? No. So I explored up here for nothing. He must be downstairs. He must be... He must have overlooked him somewhere. Where are you? Oh, there... Oh, my God. You're right there. 
Oh, it's you. Hey there, Yusus. I've noticed I see you here pretty often. I guess you must be a pretty avid reader, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that exactly. There's not much else to do, so I just come to pass the time. Uh-oh. I don't really get a chance to chance like this too often. Should I hang with him? Uh, of course. Would you mind if I joined you? Hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't ask for my permission. You can do as you please. Well then, I hope you don't mind my company. So you're just gonna sit there and read the whole time? What is it that you're reading anyway? It's just a book on the many legends that are t told throughout the Empire. There's certainly no shortage of those, is there? I've heard stories about witches, spirits, and even vampires. Hold on, are you into those kinds of stories, Jesus? Hmm. <laughs> Those are merely a means to a fuller knowledge of the Empire, though I can't deny that they make for interesting reads. I see. Maybe I should take a look at some of them sometime. Hey! Look over there! That boy's from one of the great four great houses, right? House Aberea? So he is... He fits the noble archetype to a T, doesn't he? You don't suppose he's friends with that guy next to him, do you? I was guessing that he was. You gotta wonder what kind of people a big name like that would hang out with. Oh, it's almost time. We gotta get back to the dorms. Hey, wait up! <laughs> he's like, okay. So that's what it's like to be famous. Hmm. <laughs> This is daily occurrence. You're a noble yourself. The same would happen to you if you ever acted like one. <laughs> Fair point. Maybe I could stand to learn a lesson from... A lesson or two from you. When can I escape their nobility? As such, it should be worn with pride. What? Someone told me that when I was a child. Don't listen to the likes of... Rignus. Jesus. That's the end of this book. Aw, oh, he's telling him, he's like, don't let Machias' BS wor uh, worry you. Like, in... I, personally, I'm not, but maybe it's bothering Rain, but me, personally, I don't give a crap what Machias says. He's just butthurt that he was all nice and friendly, but the moment he found out we were a freaking noble, he stuck his nose up to us and said, oh, it's because you lied. I'm like, no, it's not because we lied. It's because we're noble and you felt like you got, you were deceived when really you weren't, okay? Everyone's got their secrets. Everyone's got their own privacy. I'm sorry, I didn't want to spill my guts to you and tell you everything about myself at first meeting. So yeah, he, he, can, he can go somewhere else with all that negativity he's throwing at us. Even Yusus can tell. Even Yusus knows that he's being a little baby about that. I'm going to get another. Was he trying to cheer me up? Yes, that's basically what it was. Thanks, Yusus. Your bond with Yusus strengthened. Ah, uh, every time he gets so close, I'm like, level two? No. All right, so let's go ahead and head to my dorms. Because I think that's probably all that's left around here. Is that a bell? <gasps> Kitty! Ah, oh, are we gonna keep you? Are we gonna take you back home? But you have a bell and a bow on you, so I'm gonna imagine not because you probably belong to somebody. My, haven't you got lovely fur? Who's your master, I wonder?
Ah. Good kitty. Well, she's got a ribbon, so she's definitely not a stray. Meow. <laughs> she's definitely enjoying that. <laughs> Does that feel good? You've got really pretty fur. Such a pretty girl. Er, uh, cat. Actually, are you male or female? I've just been assuming female, but... Oh, dang! Ooh! It got prissy. It got prissy with that. It's like, I'm obviously a girl! He's like, hmm, I'm offended. See you later. Oof. I guess I pushed my luck. I don't think she scratched me too deeply, but I should still apply some ointment when I get back to the dorm just in case. I wonder what her name is. He got mad when we were like, he said, I'm thinking you're a girl, but I'm not sure. He's like, what? Yes, that's what we want. Yes, we have done all of them. Enter the door. Oh, Rain. <laughs> Good evening. Ah, they got voices this time. Evening. Did you just get back too? Yeah. I was busy with club-related work until just now. I'm glad I ran into you, though. I heard from Elisa that you went into the old schoolhouse again? Yeah, and we made some pretty crazy discoveries while we were at it. We're going to need to keep investigating that place on a regular basis, I'd say. Well, I'd be more than happy to accompany you next time. Oh, so she's coming with us next time? The request was made to the whole of Class 7, after all, and I'd like to do everything I can to help. Really? That's very kind. Thank you. Maybe I should ask Fee next time, too. And Eusis and Machias while I'm at it. Huh? Fee would be a good choice, at the very least. I'm sure she'd be more than happy to accompany us. Or, more than willing, anyway. As for Eusis and Machias, I'm sure a chance will present itself for them to make friends eventually. Maybe then? One can only hope. We really have to do something about those two already. Oh my! Reen! What happened to your right hand? Oh, this? A beautiful lady I ran into in town did it. Or at least I think she was a lady. Come again? A black cat with really glossy fur. I've never seen it around before. I assume it belongs to someone in town, since it was wearing a blue ribbon and a bell. I must have done something to offend it, though, because it got all grumpy out of nowhere and scratched me up pretty good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does it belong to you, Emma? Huh? Please, um, sit down on the sofa. I mean, I'm going to have to assume it belongs to you since you apologized for it. I'll bring a first aid kit and dress that wound right away. Thanks. Do you know it or something? Uh, no, not at all. I've just seen it around town a few times. Uh, anyway, I'll go get the first aid kit. Don't go anywhere. It's just a little scratch. I don't know why she's making such a big deal out of it. I've never seen Emma get so flustered before. do it. This textbook Emma lent me is really helpful. I might actually be able to get decent grades on next month's midterms thanks to her. 
<laughs> yeah, decent. Doubt I'll be able to even come close to matching her own grades, though, or Machias's, for that matter. <laughs> I wasn't trying to help you. Yes, you were. But I did cause you some trouble during last month's field study, so. Whether you're a noble or not is beside the point. The bottom line is you lied to me, and I simply cannot trust those who lie. There's a lot about both Machias and Eusis that we don't know. Maybe in time we can discover something about them that'll help us mend their relationship a little. This seems like a good place to stop for a quick breather. Are you about to turn on the radio? Aben time is about to start anyway. The day is done and it's time to cast off your cares right here. It's the Misty you know and love coming to you live from Radio Trista. Oh, actually, I guess it's already started. Misty's voice is always so soothing. We're now in the second half of May, and the greenery all over Erebonia is beginning to reach its peak. It's the perfect time of year to enjoy nature, and the weather is absolutely perfect for a great hike. Listeners in Heimdall have Modder Park to enjoy with its spectacular glass garden. Though, for those willing to hop on a train, I heartily recommend a trip to Lunaria Nature Park. Administrative issues kept it closed for a while, but it finally reopened this month, and it's worth making the trip. You can relax and take in the scenery of this vast, almost mystical forest, and then grab a cold beer on the way back. I can't think of a better way to spend the weekend, can you? Whoops, with all you students tuning in, maybe I shouldn't recommend boozing it up, should I? You might not be able to grab a cold one just yet, but fresh milk or fruit juice are pretty refreshing in their own way. <laughs> <laughs> he said, why are you anyway, drinking booze? Let's see who sent us some Misty today, told me to. This first one's from future three-star chef from Berea Hard. Alright guys, well I've ran out of time for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Uh, obviously we're into our next practical exam, which we will be getting into. Um, and like I said before, I'm so glad that we have accomplished our goal of defeating the moth monsters in that dungeon because that would have been a lot of rounds. So I'm glad we got that done pretty quickly. So let's enjoy what happens in this next exam in the next video. Bye.